Halton's Chambers of Commerce are applauding the Canadian Transportation Agency's approval of CN's Milton Logistics Hub project. The Milton Chambers president and CEO Scott McCammon says Milton has grown to become a supply chain hub. We look at it from a variety of perspectives. It, uh, it will create jobs uh, directly with CN, uh, but it's also the, uh, the secondary and tertiary jobs. So again, the the other companies that will locate to Milton because the intermodal is here. According to McCammon, this intermodal will deal with density and even environmental issues on our roads and highways. He says one train will take about 2,500 trucks off the roads. We all know that the, the highways are really congested and, and that's only going to get worse with the, uh, the population increase. You know, the, in, the, in the determination, the CTA said that, uh, you know, if if the GTHA, the Greater Toronto Hamilton Area, was a province, it would be the second largest province in Canada and, uh, and, and the most densely populated. And again, that's, that's going to, uh, to just increase. So, you know, we've seen the province uh, announce new highways that need to be built to take congestion off the road or to, to move it so there's less congestion. But, uh, you know, the intermodal itself will help to take those trucks off the road, which will also ease the burden on the highways and also ease the burden on the environment. Meanwhile, Halton Region has announced it will be reviewing their legal options to continue the fight against this project. Milton Councillor Samira Ali says the region understands the importance of intermodal hubs, but they cannot support its current location. Honestly, I've had talks with a lot of municipal leaders all over Ontario, and uh, there are actual municipalities that want it. Why? Because they have areas designated and zoned already for such kind of a project. Um, but in Milton, we have, if you just drive around the area, drive around the Tremaine, Britannia area, and you will see it's all zoned residential. We have a university coming in there. We have the velodrome there. It is going to be, it was planned to be a peaceful, residential, educational area. The Milton Hub process has been underway since 2015. Milton MP Adam Vancouverden inherited this issue when he was first elected back in 2019. He says he wants to assure residents that the fight isn't over. What I've come to understand is the Canadian Transport Agency will uh, look to see if there are, are any federal federally regulated highways or other uh, federally regulated transport issues. And uh, since the only one would be the railway, um, they don't really have jurisdiction at all over town and regional roads, which are the ones uh, that are being implicated, as well as provincial highways. So, um, you know, I am disappointed every time CN uh, makes progress. I continue to stand against the project and, uh, and continue to remind them of their obligations. And speaking of CN's obligations, in a statement sent to Halton News, CN says staff is reviewing the CTA's decision that, quote, follows the extensive environmental review process, which was completed on January 21st, when the federal Minister of Environment issued a decision statement with 325 conditions designed to protect the community and the environment. CN is committed to continued engagement with Indigenous groups, communities and interested parties as we move forward with the project, including with the establishment of a community consultation committee. End quote. CN goes on to say it will be providing details on the next steps soon. For Halton News in Milton, I'm Melissa Candelaria.